sort of thing which someone I trust would do. Oh, I'm sorry, Doctor. I just wasn't thinking. For some reason, you seem to be very well aware of the delicacy of the web of time. And I know for a fact that you aren't stupid. I told you I wasn't thinking. And you know what disturbs me about that? Well? No. I don't believe you. Oh. So, where do we go from here? Charlie? What's that? Don't change the subject. Whatever it is, can wait. Uh, are you sure? It, it sounds sort of urgent. Who are you and what are you doing here? Come on, I'd be more than patient with you, Charlotte, if that really is your name. Why did you want Carmen's time machine? What exactly were you up to? Oh, uh, oh sorry, I just... Oh, what's the matter? Why are you looking at me like that? How did you do that? How did I do what? I just feel a bit... Oh, what did I do? I... Doctor, I don't know what you mean. No, that can't be right. What can't be right? The TARDIS is registering an intruder. Where? How? Oh. You're doing it again. What? What am I doing? Fading in and out of existence. Fading? But... Doctor! Charlie! The TARDIS indicates as an intruder exactly where you are, or were. I'm not an intruder! And that intruder is somehow infected with something that's registering as a virus of some kind. The TARDIS's defences shouldn't allow a virus to... Oh, what just happened? Now you tell me. What have you brought into my TARDIS? I brought... I... Oh. Charlie! Charlie! Charlotte Pollard, I love you. times with those containers. I mean, you wouldn't want one of them splitting open mid-flight, would you? Hey? Eh? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, Amethyst? Please stick to procedure, Commander. The recorder is running. Oh, 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 oh I see. Uh, sorry. Um, Amethyst, this is Commander Etheron of the Interstar Cargo Carrier Blaze, registration 006.4. Your registration is confirmed. Please record that I, Supervisor Fratelin of Viral Security Station Amethyst, in accordance with the Great Armistice Treaty, Article 7, Clause 4, acknowledge receipt of cargo pods 10500 through 20000. Uh, that is recorded, Supervisor Fratelin. Well, that's it then, eh? All done. Last pods for you. Uh, let me just confirm with my familiars. Familiar 225 to control centre. All cargo pods from Blaze now on shuttle train links to containment vaults. Well, that sounds like the proverbial it, Fretilin. You are clear to disengage, docking arm commander. Have a good trip home. Will do. Um... Was there something else, commander? Oh, this has been a long old job for you and your, uh, familiars. You glad it's coming to an end? It has been an honour to serve. <laughs> serious, are you? Stuck out here for God knows how many years. I was a volunteer. I wanted to do this. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, well, that's what I heard. But, well, I didn't quite believe it, really. Um, so, uh, when, when do 
they arrive? The Virons? Yeah. Soon, is it? Well, that's classified, Commander. Sorry. Should have known better than to expect you to break with procedure. Never met one. A Viron? I don't think anybody ever has. No, 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 no. I suppose not. And you'll be getting out of there, right? You and your familiars, you'll be leaving before the Virons get there, right? Right? Um, no, actually. The procedure is for me to facilitate the handover. You mean you're actually... I mean, are you... Well, aren't you scared? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. But we shall be happy to see them carry out the great work that has to be done. Rattling old pal, rather you than me. I've heard that those guys can strip the skin off your back with just a single look. I don't concern myself with foolish rumours, Commander, and and your departure is now overdue. Don't worry, I'm not sticking around if there's any chance of those guys turning up any time soon. But listen, um, yes, you and your people can come aboard my ship and get away now, if you like. I mean. No one will blame you. That would be dereliction. <laughs> it would be survival, mate. Survival! Think about it. Fralin. Thank you for your kind offer, but I... We will do our duty. Right. Well... Good luck to you. It's me. Don't change the subject. Whatever it is can wait. You can sense me now, Charlotte, can't you? You're not like the others. Uh, are you sure? It sounds sort of urgent. Who are you and what are you doing here? Come on, I'd be more than patient with you, Charlotte, if that really is your name. Why did you want Carmen's time machine? What exactly were you up to? You're like me, aren't you, Charlotte? You're an outsider. We're the same. We're coming together, Charlotte. You and me. I love everything you are. Everything. You're perfect. I long to be like you. I want to be you. Charlie? Charlie? I Charlotte? Doctor, are we still in the TARDIS? We're in the TARDIS Zero Room. Y you, you've been asleep. Zero? Asleep? I'm, I'm floating. That's right. It's good for you. Now, do you remember collapsing in the control room? I, yes, I, I think. Oh, Doctor, I'm so sorry. I know you're angry with me. You've every right to be, but I... Now, it's all right. I think it's best you relax for now. But I thought, I mean, just now, you were angry. You wanted to know what, what I was... Just now? Charlie? That was years ago. You've been in here for years. In some kind of coma. Years? Yes. Oh, my God. You're not serious. Years? Really? It feels you just were like... infected with something, but you still are. It's a virus of some kind. Virus? I've got a virus? Yes. And you shouldn't have. Well, not in the TARDIS. The old girl's defences should protect what you. What kind of virus? I don't know. Apart from putting you in a coma, I can't work out what else it does. And believe you me, I've tried long and hard to find out. How many years well time is relative in the tardis but it's been a long time so not that it's any of my business i suppose but what have you been doing all this time i identified the virus's molecular signature and 
Well, I've been trying to find out where it came from. If I can find the source, then you can cure me. Is that all you've been worrying about all this time? Oh, uh, well, there've been a few um, <clears throat> detours. You mean you've got caught up in a few scrapes? Well, I, I wouldn't put it quite like that, but and of course, I look in on you from time to time to make sure the zero room environment is attuned to your needs. Am I better, Doctor? Doctor, what's the matter? Charlie, Charlie! Oh no, it's happening again. Charlotte, come back to me. Hold on. I'm going to find the virus. You understand me? Every time I get a trace of it, I get closer to the source of it. I'm going to find it, and I'm going to cure you. Fratelin Familiar 246 to Control Center. Receiving you, 246. Are you content? Content in all tasks, thank you. Will you permit a personal query? I can tell something is troubling you, 246. Yes. I am troubled by what the commander of the cargo ship said about... Commander Ethron is from a less disciplined species, 246. One of the singulars. They are not like us. And he has gone. We will most likely never have contact with him again. You should concentrate on the job in hand, 246. But he seemed afraid of the virons, and whenever they are mentioned, I feel fear. We have our duty to perform, 246. The great work to be done here is all that matters. Focus on that. I know you are correct, Fratilin, but I still feel... I am registering an intrusion. The virons? I'm transmitting location coordinates to all familiars. Control center, this is 557. There is a molecular disturbance. An intruding object is solidifying adjacent to the containment vaults. I have visual contact. The physical configuration is unfamiliar. Oh, hello. Another singular. Apprehend him. Purify. You will stand still. Oh, of course. I'm perfectly harmless, you know. Uh, what's that? The atmosphere in the station must remain sterile. You are an intrusion. There will be impurities. Oh, I see. But are you quite sure that thing won't harm me in any... <coughs> yes, well, I, I, I'm sure that was completely necessary. Mm. The taste of carbolic soap won't be lingering for too long, I hope. You will come with me. Well, mm, no, no, naturally. Where are we going? To see Fratelin. The station supervisor. Oh, and who are you? I am Fratelin. Oh, well, I see. Well, actually, I don't, but sometimes it's better not to let questions get in the way of a good mystery. Lead on, um, Fratelin. someone else. Doctor, there's something different about this one. Why would she be expecting someone else? Well, I hadn't realized dimensionally transcendental vehicles disguised as police boxes were quite so commonplace. The TARDIS doesn't like her. What? The TARDIS doesn't... Oh, my head. I remember that. What? Oh, who... Oh, God, I'm delirious or something, aren't I? I don't know. You seem very awake to me, Charlotte Pollard. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm awake and talking to an out-of-focus person. Morning, how are you? And what's your name, then? Mila. Mila? Who are you, then? Someone I met and have forgotten all about? Or is this delirium so bad that I'm just making up fuzzy-edged-looking girls? I've known you quite a while. You're very special to me. Hi. Huh? Fascinating. Oh, this is just completely ridiculous. Doctor! Doctor! Ooh, oh, okay. This floating around takes some getting used to. Hang on. If I'm actually in this zero room place, then... You're awake. Yes. Although, of course, you could be just dreaming that you're awake. 
But you're not, though. <laughs> oh, yes, but you would say that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you're funny. I like that. I want to be as funny as you. <sighs> Do you? That's nice. Doctor! Um, what do you remember? What do you mean? When I woke up, you said I remember that. Oh, your head was hurting. Still is. Mm, I remember that happening to me to start with. To start with? And there's no use calling for the doctor. He's left the TARDIS. Has he? How would you know? Oh, I know everything about the doctor. He'll be out exploring. He likes doing that. Yes, I know. What do you mean you know everything about the Doctor? Well, he's the greatest enemy of the Daleks for a start. Did you know that? Yes, I did, actually. Oh, yes, because at that time you thought you were on Spyridon. What? With the Chiropites and the Thals. How do you know about that? Oh. <laughs> of course. If I'm just imagining you, then... I know more than that. I know it all. Well, nearly all of it. For example, did you know the Doctor didn't always look like he does now? Mm, yes. And you only know that because I know, because you're a product of my feverish imagination. I have got a fever, haven't I? I mean, oh, I feel pretty rotten. Oh, he seemed to be so old when I first met him. <laughs> and he was so grumpy. I think he was pretending most of the time. And he had such a sparkle in his eye. But then he changed. What are you talking about? His hair got darker, for one thing. It was like a sort of mop. <laughs> it was silver before. But when he changed, he played around a lot more. <laughs> he used to make me laugh. He made them all laugh. Those girls. They all loved him. But they left. Every single one of them. None of them stay. And neither will you, Charlie. You'll leave just like all the rest of them. Mm. Now, that was impressive. Exactly what speed were we travelling at in that train thing? The shuttle train was travelling at maximum speed. Maximum, eh? Mm, very impressive. And uh, are the trains like that all over this base? This station is over 75 Siburuds in mass. Siburuds? Well, that's not translating very well. Strange. There are only 800 of us. If we are to do our jobs well, we must have the fastest means of transport available. Oh, well, of course. Where are we going? This is the control centre, through here. Ah. Bring the singular in, 557. Thank you. Singular? What have you learned, 557? Conjoin? Of course. Now, that's fascinating. And something I've never seen before. No wonder you call me singular. Thank you, 557. You may continue with your duties. Yes, Supervisor. Tell me, are you both part of the same creature, or are you just uniquely compatible in some way? You have never met a Chagrafin before. Evidently not. I have 799 familiars, all individuals, but also part of me. You must take up rather a lot of space when you all conjoin. Mass conjoining only takes place in times of dire need. Dire need? And what qualifies as dire... You are here to answer my questions. Oh, I do beg your pardon. Far away. Oh, and the scarf was so long that it... Just almost... hang on a minute! How do you know all this? The TARDIS is my home. I've been here with the Doctor for, well, such a long time. A long, long time. Well, that doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. I'm his companion. Oh, really? Then why hasn't he ever mentioned you? Well... Oh, look, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, but, well, I need to know. Mila, how did you get into the TARDIS? I escaped from them. You see, I'd heard about the Doctor. I knew they hated him. They hated him because he'd beaten them. I think, I think they were scared of him. So I thought, this is the man I want to be with. The man who scares the Daleks. The Daleks? You escaped from the Daleks? Yes, I hid from them for ages on one of their spaceships. They couldn't find me. No one could find me. And then one day, I managed to get into one of their time machines. A Dalek time machine? Yes. They were chasing the Doctor through time and space, you see. And I thought, they're bound to find him eventually, and when they do, 
That's when I can get aboard the TARDIS. Do you see? Um, I'm not sure exactly what I see. And it worked! It worked, didn't it? Um, why don't you just wait here while I find the Doctor? I told you, he's gone out exploring. I know, but all the same, perhaps I should check to see. There's no point! Why? Have you done something to him? What are you doing here anyway? Oh. Oh, what's the matter with me? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, oh. You're leaving, Charlie. What? What are you talking about? You're going to leave the doctor. So your proposition is that you are a traveller in time, Doctor? And space. Oh, sorry, you go on. I must say I'm encouraged that you don't find the proposition preposterous. I find nothing preposterous, Doctor. It would be a waste of my energies. The universe is full of possibilities. It is simpler to embrace than reject. How refreshing. And why do you travel in time and space? Huh? Oh, uh, brr. any number of reasons, really. <laughs> this is a secure facility, and I have security functions to fulfil, so please, be more precise. Is your proposition that you have arrived here entirely by chance? Oh, actually, no, not in this case. Uh, well, I was wondering if you could help me. Proceed. I suppose you could say I'm on some kind of quest. A friend of mine, someone who's travelling with me, has fallen ill. Ill? Can you expand on that? Not with any great degree of accuracy, I'm afraid. All I know is that she has some kind of virus. My ship should be impervious to such things, but, well, in this case it wasn't, and I'm not sure why. Anyway, I was... A virus? Uh, uh, yes. Her condition seems to be stable, although I'm not really sure. But I've been tracing the spatio-temporal spore of the virus. Very tricky. There have been a lot of blind alleys and detours, but I got my strongest readings to date on my way here, to Amethyst. Uh, what is Amethyst, by the way? Is it the name of a planet, or...? The nature of this facility is top secret, as laid down by the Great Armistice Treaty. Armistice? And you came here looking for a virus? Well, yes, I, yes, I did. Is that all right? You are in breach of security protocols. Am I? If you know about the viruses we have stored here, then... You have viruses here? Well, then this is... There is only one course of action for me to take. You have no security classification, which means you are a potential saboteur. No, I'm not. There is no other available classification. But I thought you had an open mind. The penalty is execution. I thought things were going rather too well. Hmm. Certainly sounds as if we've landed. Let's see, scanner. Definitely landed. Oh, a metal corridor. Great. What are you doing? Oh, where did you spring from? Oh, I really am hallucinating, aren't I? What's wrong with me? I've told you you're leaving. Yes, I'm leaving, that's right. And in actual fact, I am. I'm going outside to find the doctor. Oh. God, why am I even bothering to talk to you? You're just... just... Hey, wait a minute. There's something different about you. Is there? You're not so fuzzy about the edges. Sort of clearer to look at. What does that mean? Hmm? What do you think? Oh, I feel too awful to bother about talking to hallucinations. Get out of my way, I'm going. Would you mind getting out of my way, please? Right. Oh, what? Oh, now I know you're not real. Why is that? Because I just walked right through you! Oh. Oh, and I feel really terrible for it, too. Oh. I don't understand. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? You must know that you're different. Different? What do you mean? Different from all the others. What? They were all protected by the TARDIS. But not you. Not you, Charlie. Everything about you is... is... wrong. Wrong? What are you saying? You must know. It's like you're not supposed to be here. This... this space doesn't belong to you. And that's why you're the one I truly love. You're like me. Like I was. An outsider. I'm not listening to any more of this. Yes. Perhaps it'd be best if you did leave now. Leave me here to be by the doctor's side.
So, where exactly are we going? Uh, uh, what number are you, by the way? I am 665. Ah. Not as talkative as Fratelin himself, are you? I am Fratelin himself, but I have been given one function, to carry out your execution. Huh. I hope you're not thinking of attempting escape. Why, what would you do if I was? I would dispose of you now by enveloping you. I understand that singular species, such as yourself, have no facility for conjoining. The process would, I am told, suffocate you. I think you may well be right, 665, old chap. You Chograffins really are totally unique, aren't you? I can see that you are enjoying your state of fascination. Oh, yes, yes, I am. It's always good to learn something new. That's probably why the TARDIS was having some trouble translating that word of yours. What was it? Um, Seberud? This must be one of the remotest parts of space-time the old girl's ever travelled to. It is a pity for you that your fascination will be so short-lived. Oh, we've arrived, have we? Oh, what is it, a squelching squad at dawn? Step forward, please. Where are we? This is the waste vent. Oh, you're not throwing me out with the rubbish, are you? I hate the smell of old bins. There is no waste in the amethyst station. We are buried deep beneath the surface of a lava planet. You will be vented into molten lava. the waste vent airlock. Um, what exactly is a biological alert? Well, in a station full of viruses, isn't that a bit of a worry? It is no concern of yours. Are you sure? It sounds like trouble. And I'm a handy man to have in your corner when there's trouble about. It would not surprise me if you were the cause of the trouble. In... No, I... Ooh, 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 ooh. 665 to Amethyst Control... The doctor is now in the ejection vent. Thank you, 665. Open the vent and complete the execution. This is the supervisor to all familiars. I am registering a biological alert in the containment zone close to the intruder's craft, intersection blue 004. Scanners identify viral leakage conforms to the type 7001 batch. Any familiar close to this intersection, please move to investigate. Doctor! There is a female singular. Apprehend her. This is 354. I'm approaching the intersection, Supervisor. Is there any chance you might reconsider? <sighs> no way out. <sighs> there must be better ways to die. Sorry. Charlie. Ugh, get off me! Who are you? I am Fratted in Familiar 354. You are identified as a biological risk. You must be contained. What? But, oh, where's the doctor? He is a saboteur and is being executed. What? No! Waste vent now opening. The doctor will be dead in seconds. Thank you, 665. What? I am registering something unusual. <sighs> this is it then, Doctor. No chance of regeneration buried under a planet full of molten lava. What? What's going on? How ironic. Materialization complete! Rescued by the Daleks.
665, has the execution of the doctor been completed? 665, respond, please. Hello? Hello? Doctor, you should be dead. I know. It must be infuriating for you. And it wasn't even I who hacked into your comm system. Who was it, then? Well, I've got a squad of three Daleks here with me. Three what? Daleks? You've never heard of them? I've never heard of them. 665, open the outer vent door immediately. The Daleks have deactivated it. And for some unfathomable reason, they're rather reluctant to damage any part of this station, unless they absolutely have to, of course. So, and I can't believe I'm actually saying this, they're asking you to open the door, or they'll blast it open. Fratelin, what are you doing? Transmission detected! A distress signal is being transmitted from this station! Well, perhaps if you'd just blown up the door without getting me to ask so politely... Silence! Please yourself... Alert! Energy readings indicate full station security systems being activated! Destroy the door immediately before force fields are activated! We, we are ready! <laughs> Doctor, oh, Doctor, no. what's happening? They've destroyed the door. Unfortunately, your familiar 665 was standing behind it. He was killed by the... I know. I felt it. I'm so... Silence! Attention! You will deactivate your defense systems immediately! Doctor, who are these friends of yours? They're no friends of mine, Fratelin. I can assure you of that. And why should I believe you? You are part of an attacking force invading the station, and you will be treated as such! Can't say I blame him. Defense systems are blocking our scanners. Our search will be impaired. And what are you searching for? You will begin the search now. Set all perceptors to maximum. Proceed. We, we obey. obey! The creature called Fratelin referred to you as Doctor. Huh? Oh, did he? Well, I don't remember that. Uh, what are you doing? Transmitting your image to Dalek Control. Dalek Control? Where exactly is that? Well, out there in the middle of the molten lava. You will be silent! This is the one referred to as the Doctor. Feed information to Dalek Time Controller. Dalek. Time controller receiving. Simply to propagate your endless war against it. You finally did. Of course, once time is reset to your grand design, we won't know it was ever any different. Identity confirmed. This is our greatest enemy, the Time Lord, the Doctor. He must be exterminated! No! No! He is our greatest enemy! He must die! There are spatio-temporal imperatives we must obey. Any deviation could mean the failure of our mission. But the doctor's presence in this time zone was not foreseen. We do not know what his purpose is here. We cannot risk destabilizing events. Our imperatives are to recapture Patient Zero and locate the viruses. But the doctor will attempt to impede our imperatives. The doctor is resourceful. We must use that resourcefulness. For now, he must be kept alive very well. The doctor will be your prisoner. Use his knowledge to achieve your goals. I understand. Oh, yes? Been talking to someone, have you? What exactly are the Daleks doing here? You will take me to the control area. Find your own way. This station's security systems are blocking my scanners. Do you know where the control area is? And what if I say no? I have orders to use you as a resource, Doctor. 
If you are not useful, you will die. Well? Uh, oh, uh, it's this way. Keep up. What are you going to do now? Just leave me here behind bars? In this containment area, you are isolated from the station's air supply. Once the airlock to this room is sealed, there will be no further risk of viral contamination. What sort of station is this? All matters relating to Amethyst's purpose are top secret. Hmm, top secret? Oh! You are exhibiting symptoms of viral infection. Oh, thanks. Nice bedside manner. Oh! Oh, have you got anything I can take for it? There are no cures for any of the viruses held here. You will soon be dead. What? What does that mean? That is an intrusion alert. 354 to control centre. The doctor has escaped execution that has brought other aliens into Amethyst. All familiars are called to the control centre for mass conjoining. Wait a minute! Come back, please! Did he say the doctor had escaped? Please, you can't... Oh, I can't just leave me. Oh, here to... to die. All familiars will return to the control centre immediately. Hello again, Fratelin. It's me. Sorry about the company I'm keeping. I would advise you to come no closer, Doctor. Oh, oh. A force field, of course. Oh, that hurts. I did warn you. Shut down oh. the force field immediately. I will not. Shut down all defence systems and surrender to the Daleks. This station is under Dalek control. Oh, bit of an exaggeration, isn't it? Well, there are only three of you so far, and the security systems are affecting your... Silence! You will shut down the security systems, or I will exterminate the Doctor! Do as you wish! Nothing supersedes the security of this station! Oh, dear. <sighs> oh, come on, Doctor. Where are you? Are you out there? What? <sighs> What's that? Unit 1 to Dalek Control! Oh, so it's you lot again. I have located the Doctor's TARDIS. But you won't find me. You never will. I'm safe with the Doctor. He'll defeat you. He always has done and he always will. Shut down your security system or the Doctor dies! Far be it from me to put ideas into your head, but why don't you just blast the force field projectors, get into the control centre, and shut down the security systems yourself. Oh, don't tell me you hadn't thought of that. Your friends seem somewhat slow-witted, Doctor. Once again, Fratelin, the Daleks are not my friends. They are, in fact, my mortal enemies. Then why does this creature hesitate to kill you? Do you know, I'm not sure. He seems confused. Dalek Time Squad Leader to Dalek Control am requesting orders. Continue to obey your mission imperatives. The integrity of the station's viral containment fields must not be endangered. The doctor must be kept alive as a resource. Find alternative solutions. Use other life forms. What are they telling you, your friends in Dalek control? I I'm detecting other life forms in this station. Interesting that you call yourself a time squad leader. They are of the same species as this creature. You say there are only three of these Daleks, Doctor. Yes, but don't underestimate then them. Then my familiars will overpower them. I only hope you're right. Creatures detected moving in this direction. How many? Let me guess, about 798. You've called them for a mass conjoining, haven't you, Fratelin? Dire circumstances... Halt! Supervisor Fratelin, what are your orders? Creature designated as Supervisor Fratelin, you will shut down the force field, or your fellow creature will be destroyed! 354, envelop this machine creature. Yes, Supervisor! Stay back! Do not move! Stay back! I hope this works, Fratelin. Pulsing envelop! Pulsing envelop! Go down! No! no! This will be the first of many of your fellow creatures to die. If you do not shut down the force field, obey the Daleks! I... I will not. Fratelin, are you all right? These 
creatures truly are your enemies. Truly. And you must tell your familiars not to come here, or this Dalek will surely destroy them Zion, all. Zion, stark up! Fratellin to all familiars. Mass conjoining is rescinded. Disperse to your duty sectors immediately. There are creatures in the station called Daleks, and they threaten us all. Time squad leader to units one and two. Cease search for patient zero immediately. Patient zero? Scan for all life forms conforming to scan information I am now transmitting. Destroy on site until further orders. We obey! What exactly is patient zero? Fratellin, if you do not shut down the force fields, the creatures you call familiars will be tracked down one by one and exterminated. Obey my commands. And their lives will be spared. I cannot obey your commands. I have committed my whole life, my very being, to my duty in this station. I will not betray the great work we have begun here. There is much more at stake than my survival. So you must do your worst, Dalek. I will not yield. The Daleks have encountered defiance of this nature many times before. It has always been crushed. You will have sacrificed your lives. For nothing. The Daleks will be victorious! What's so precious to you that you've traveled in time to get here and dare not kill me or damage the systems in this station to get it? Silence, Doctor! Or what? What can you possibly threaten me with when you dare not upset the balance of time itself? You are correct. I have orders to keep you alive. But you feel pain. I can suspend you in torment. I can damage you. So you will be silent. Oh. Doctor? Oh. Doctor, are you all right? Oh. Doctor? Your, oh, your great work had better be worth the carnage that's about to take place. It is. Oh. But don't worry, Doctor. The oh. Firelands will soon be here. They will put a stop to these monsters. Virons? Who, who are the Virons? Virons? Destination of Amethyst Station. Distress signal now located. Identify. Observe. A space vessel. Type unknown. Its course is set to intercept this station. Its speed is increasing. The configuration suggests a powerful enemy. This must be the virons to which Fratellin refers. We must complete our mission before these virons arrive. The Daleks must take full control of Amethyst immediately. Continue with the extermination of the Fratellin creatures. The station's defenses must be shut down! Unit 2 reporting have located Fratellin creature and... <laughs> Fratellin, no! you must know that the Daleks will track down every one of your familiars and kill them! They are utterly ruthless! They won't stop until you give them what they want! I see that, Doctor. I know that. But I cannot give them what they want! Well, what can be worth this much suffering? What is this great work you mentioned before? Fratellin! I cannot tell you. I am sworn to secrecy. I don't... No! Oh! <laughs> Unit 1 to control exterminations proceeding! <laughs> What was that? Oh. oh no, not them! Daleks! Fratellin, for pity's sake, please! Tell me what this great work is! I may be able to help! It is not your place, Doctor! Not your place! The virons! The virons will... Oh! Oh! Oh. Do you know? You! Dalek, I'm talking to you! You have been warned, Doctor! Don't you see? He's never going to give in! Fratellin holds a secret that he values more than his life! This mass murder is utterly pointless! Oh, why am I even bothering to try to reason with you? You wallow in the blood of innocence just for what? 
the glory of it all? This will be the greatest victory of the Daleks! What will be? What is it you're trying to achieve here? Life form located. It is humanoid. Identify. Oh, no one in particular. Now, if you don't mind, I was just having a little sleep, so... Silence! What action should I take? Scan humanoid and relay information to Dalek control. What humanoid? What have you found? Now scanning! Data is being received! The data shows antigens associated with patient zero. Then this humanoid must have been in contact with Patient Zero. Patient Zero again? Who is Patient Zero? Patient Zero must be here. Our time scans were correct. So that's why you're here. To find someone infected with a virus. It is imperative that the security systems are shut down so that the search for Patient Zero can continue unimpeded. The flattering creature will not yield. Then threaten the extermination of the humanoid female. Female? Oh, no. The doctor has compassion. Our records show that he often travels with a female. This could be the one who travels with him. You sound different. Who are you? I am the Dalek Time Controller, Doctor. My function is linked to the flow of time and space. I control all strategies in the Vortex. Oh, how nice for you. Let the female speak. Sorry, Doctor. It's me. Charlie? But I left you in... How are you? Well, not too good. That is enough. Doctor, your friend has been in contact with patient Zero. What do you mean? She shows signs of viral infection. It's true, Doctor. That's why we put her in containment. You were... What's going on here? Her bioscan showed traces of virus 7001. 7001? Explain to me who this patient zero is. I don't know what they're talking about, but patient zero is a term... Oh, yes, I'm well aware what patient zero means. The origin of an infection. The first victim of a disease. You must tell us where patient zero is. You have to believe me when I say I've no idea. Hello? What's going on? The threatening creature will shut down the security systems for us to search for patient zero. If he does not, the humanoid female will die. Fratelin, please. Doctor, believe me, I am truly sorry. Fratelin, sooner or later the Daleks will find a way to shut down your defenses. Eventually they'll risk everything and just blast them down. You're just prolonging the agony. All Fratelin creatures located. Doctor! Doctor, can you hear me? Doctor! Shut down the security system! Can't you see, Fratelin? They won't ever give up! I'm sorry for your loss, Doctor, but you must understand that I have no choice. All right, listen to me. Daleks, if you don't harm my friend, I will shut down the force field for you. Then you can get into the control center and shut down whatever systems you like. Doctor, no! Don't you understand? I can't let that girl die. I've traveled across the entire universe, across eons, to try to save her. I can't just let her die now. We'll find another way to defeat the Daleks. No! You said yourself that they never give up. Doctor, you can't do this. You must be strong. Then I can't be that strong. If that's what strength is, it's beyond me. There's been enough senseless killing here today. Daleks, if I do this, you must cease the extermination of Fratelin's familiars. You hear me? Well, can we trust the doctor? He has compassion and he is resourceful. He will do as he says. We should exterminate him and destroy all the defense systems. Nothing must stand against the Daleks. If we destroy the station's defenses, there could be a breach of the containment fields. The viruses could escape and destroy us. I have authority in this strategy. The doctor will shut down the force field and allow us access 
to the control center. Once our time ship has materialized in the station, all can be exterminated. Well, come on, what's your decision? I have one condition, by the way. No conditions, Doctor. I want to see Charlie, the female. Take me to her. I want to see with my own eyes that she's still alive and unharmed. Well, you could be playing me a recording of her. You could have already killed her. I want to see her before I... betray everything. Very well. Another Dalek? What are they up to now? <gasps> doctor! It's the Doctor! <laughs> oh, you may have got him prisoner now, but he'll defeat you. He always does. And then I'll be by his side. Yes! I can help! Yes! I'm going to help you, Doctor! Charlie! <sighs> Charlie, are you all right? No, I feel awful. But it's nothing the Daleks have done. What is this place? It's where I think your virus came from. Here? Why? How? I have no idea at the moment. But the Daleks clearly know about the viruses here and they're trying to find someone they call... That is enough, Silence! You have seen the female is alive! You will now cooperate and shut down the force field, move! Very well. Everything's going to be all right, Charlie. Just hang on! Oh, but Doctor, I haven't told you everything. There was this... Silence! Move, Doctor! Uh -huh. Now! Uh -huh. Remain here and guard her! I obey! But Doctor! Doctor! There was this... girl... in the TARDIS. You will remain silent! Well, maybe I really did just imagine her. Silence! Were you real, Mila? What did you say? What? Repeat it! Repeat that name! Mila! I said Mila! Patient Zero! She knows of Patient Zero! Interrogate her! I obey! Where did you encounter Mila? What? Why do you want to know? Answer! You know who Mila is? She said she'd escape from the Daleks. Answer or you will be exterminated! Oh, but you promised the Doctor that... It was expedient! Patient Zero overrides all other imperatives! Patient... Where is Mila? Well, uh, the last time I saw her, or thought I saw her... Oh, this is ridiculous. I was delirious. I'm ill. Answer now! She was in the TARDIS! The TARDIS is outside the influence of the station's security defences. Scan the TARDIS immediately. TARDIS defences penetrated by scanners. Where is Patient Zero? Find her. Find her now. There is a DNA trace, but nothing substantial. She was in the TARDIS, but now she has left. She must be in the station. Units 1 and 2 will search immediately. I obey. Where are you off to? I thought you wanted to exterminate me. <sighs> well, not that I'm complaining. What is the doctor's progress with the force field? Proceeding! Doctor, I'm begging you, please, don't do this! I am sorry, Fratellin, but I must. That girl's been an enigma to me for far too long. And when it comes to defeating the Daleks, I never give up hope. There is no hope! You will obey! The Daleks will be victorious! That is all! But sometimes their certainty is something you can use against them. Stop talking and deactivate the force field! All right, all right, I'm going as fast as I can. This is very tricky work, you know. Not the sort of thing you can solve with a plunger. Ah, oh, there you are, Charlie. Oh. Who? You. Still feeling awful, are you? But I thought... But I thought... 
What did you think, Charlie? That I deserted you? That I didn't really love you? Your face, it, it's clearer now. There's something familiar about it. Is there? Have you seen the doctor? Yes. Those are my clothes you're wearing. Are they? And your hair. Oh, do you like it? <laughs> you should. It's the way you're wearing yours. Though not quite so sweaty, of course. But then I'm not ill anymore. Anymore? Oh! Oh! Oh, what? Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's going on? Mila! Are you doing this to me? <laughs> oh, Charlie! It's nearly time for you to go! Ah, got it. Is the force field deactivated? Yes, and I shall demonstrate. There, you see? I'm able to pass through the doorway unimpeded. Please, no applause. Doctor, what have you done? Reporting to control. The doctor has deactivated the force field. I'm now proceeding to locate and deactivate all security system controls. If necessary, I will force the doctor to assist me. Now, that wasn't part of the bargain. You will obey. Ah, ah, ah. Assist! Assist! I'm caught in force field energy discharge. Systems malfunctioning. Oh, dear. What a pity. You didn't deactivate it. You were lying to them strictly. No. Uh, it seems it will only let in organic creatures. Don't fancy popping out of your casing and slithering through, do you? <sighs> Reporting to control! The Doctor has tricked us! The force field allows organic creatures to pass through it! That prevents Dalek entry! Order Unit 1 to proceed to containment area immediately and exterminate the Doctor's companion! Doctor? Yes? What? Natalie, I need your help. You have one last chance to save your companion's life. Fully deactivate the force field immediately or she will die. Natalie. Come on, try it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I can't fit through these bars. Wouldn't hurt to try, though, would it? Would it? Oh, my goodness. I just... How is that possible? I can't just walk through solid bars. You'd be amazed at what you can do now. Seriously. Look out! Stay where you are! You will be exterminated! No! What? But that dialogue just went straight through me. The doctor has tricked us! You will be exterminated! Who, me? He thinks you're me. He can't see me at all. Exterminate! Oh, well, if you must. in me. Quite an effort, though, now. Well, now that things are changing for me. I really am hallucinating now, aren't I? You just touched a Dalek and it died. Fratelin, please. There must be a force field or something we can activate to prevent a Dalek getting access to that containment area. No, Doctor. The containment area is sealed by our airlock doors, and the Daleks have somehow bypassed those controls. Like they did with the vent doors, of course. How could I have been so stupid?
stupid. Oh, Charlie. Doctor, I wish there was something I could do. What have I done? I've gambled with her life and lost. She is to you almost as the familiars are to me. What? No. Oh, that's the terrible thing. I hardly know her at all. In fact, I'm certain she's been hiding the truth about herself from me ever since we met. And yet... And yet you feel a connection? Yes. Yeah, yes, I suppose I do. But now I've lost her. Lost her life because of my own stupid overconfidence. Oh. Well, is she dead? Is she? Have you killed Charlie? There is no response from Dalek Unit 1! No response? Where are we going? Where am I going, you mean? You're going nowhere, Charlie. Oh, look, just stop! Stop! Tell me what's going on! I've already told you! You just don't listen! You're not such a good companion after all, are you? I shall be much more attentive than you. Than me? Are you saying that you're somehow going to take take my place? And all that nonsense, everything you said in the TARDIS is true? Yes. But what? That you've been in the TARDIS for hundreds of years? That you escaped from the Daleks and you've been with the Doctor since... Since he had long white hair or a mop or something. Yes. And that, that there's something wrong about me. You knew that anyway, didn't you? And as I said, the TARDIS knows it too, which is why it stopped protecting you and why this is happening. But what is happening? All I know for sure is that I've got some kind of virus and that apparently it came from here. Here? I don't know anything about that. But you got the virus from me. What do you think's happened, Doctor? I don't know, but no news is good news. Maybe the Dalek has signed to kill Charlie has lost his way? Or perhaps Charlie managed to... Shut skip... down the force field, now! Sorry, I'm busy. Now, how do I access information about this station? You cannot. You need a security code and you haven't got one. The great work here is top secret. Obey! Obey! Oh, yes, if in doubt, shout. Never fails, does it? Security code, you say? Like this one. Uh, but how you... It's called being sneaky. Comes with old age, you know. And I've had a misspent life sneaking around all sorts of computer systems. You develop a seventh sense eventually. What are you going to do? Stop me? Envelop me? I cannot allow you to... You can, Fatalin. You can. Because I assure you that the Daleks are at the end of their tether. And any minute now, they're going to throw caution to the wind and blast that force field down. So, let's start sharing information, shall we? Ah, I'm in. You should just go back to the TARDIS. You don't belong out here. What am I supposed to do in the TARDIS? What I did. Be ignored. You mean, you were there all that time and no one saw you? No one until you. Why me? I told you. Because of the TARDIS. It didn't like you. Didn't protect you. So I could pass the virus to you. All right. I, I sort of understand that. Sort of. But what kind of virus is it? Where did you pick it up? What does it do? I was being experimented on. You said you were on a Dalek ship. You were being experimented on by the Daleks? Yes, by the Daleks. Honestly, you are so slow. They were experimenting on me with a virus that was supposed to change what you were. Change what you were? Yes, like, if you caught it, your DNA would mutate into a copy of the DNA of whoever you caught it off. And, and why were the Daleks experimenting with that? To try to turn people into Daleks. Isn't it obvious? But the trouble was that the mutation was so violent it killed the infected person. And they didn't want that. They wanted the mutated person to survive so that they would actually become a part of the Dalek army. They used to say that their plan was for every creature in the universe to become a Dalek. That sounds like the Daleks, all right. But something went wrong. Have you ever felt certain you were going to die? Yes, but... But what? <laughs> With the Doctor, there's always a glimmer of hope, even in the most awful of circumstances. I had no hope. 
I had no doctor. They just used me like bacteria in a test tube or something. I knew they wouldn't stop until I was dead or worse. Worse? Being a Dalek's worse than being dead, wouldn't you say? Yes, I think you're probably right. Is that what they tried to do to you? They were using me as a guinea pig to test the virus on. They thought if they could get me to infect other creatures and turn them into copies of me, copies that survived, then it would be safe to inject the virus into a Dalek. And did the virus work on you? Did you infect other people and they... And they turned into copies of me, yes. And they survived. The Daleks must have thought, right, it's working now. So they injected a Dalek with the virus. I was meant to catch the virus off the Dalek, turn into a Dalek. But maybe the virus kept mutating, I don't know. But the Dalek test subject died. They were really angry, like it was my fault. They started bombarding me with, I don't know, radiation, energy. Whatever it was, they blasted me with it again and again and again, and each time like being slammed into a wall so hard that, finally, I couldn't even remember who I was. And it went on for what felt like days, maybe longer. I don't know. I remember the light, blinding and burning, but so cold, freezing to the core of me. But what I remember most is... Mila? Wanting to die. And then something happened. They started screaming and shouting as they always did, and there was pain. Pain like you wouldn't believe, like you never forget. I didn't even know what was going on. Patient Zero's molecular structure is phasing with reality. Stabilize power from warp reactor. Fluctuations in warp reactor fields are causing dimensional fusing with Patient Zero's DNA. Shut down hyperdrive immediately. Patient Zero is phasing into another dimension. What's happening to me? Is patient zero, I cannot see her. She is not registering on perceptors. Where is she? So that's how you hid from the Daleks. They couldn't see you. And when you came into the TARDIS? The doctor's never seen you, has he? And everybody who's travelled with him all these years. None of them has ever seen you, have they? But that's going to change. And all because of you, Charlotte Pollard. <gasps> Doctor, please! I know, I know, it's all top secret. Now, what are these? Ah, now these are containment areas for the viruses, aren't they? Oh, this station is full of viruses. Must be literally millions of them here. But why? Something to do with these viron creatures you mentioned? And why are the Daleks here? To take the viruses? Well, they have a penchant for biological warfare. And who is Patient Zero? Feel free to answer any time you like. Approaching ship has increased speed. We cannot wait any longer! We must risk destroying the station's security systems now! Time controller, we must act immediately! Very well. Give the order for the Time Squad leader to destroy the force field projectors. Begin destruction of force field projectors! I obey! Right! That's it, Fatalin. We're officially out of time. You've got to tell me the purpose of this station! It's the only way I can help! There will be no need for your help. The Virons will... Soon, the Virons will... Will, will what? What do the Virons want, Fratelin? You see, all that experimenting the Daleks had done, all that radiation or whatever it was, and the dimensional shifting, I, I don't pretend to understand it, but it changed me. All I could remember was my name. Mila. I didn't know anything else. That's horrible. I'm sure the doctor could help if we could... Don't you see, Charlie? I'm going to the doctor now. Me. 
And he won't be able to see you anymore. What are you saying? That he'll be able to see me. Do you see me? Are you looking at me? Can you see me? You. You're... I'm you now, Charlie. You see? I found after so many years I could control the virus. If I tried hard enough, I could let it out a bit at a time and maybe even kill a Dalek now and then. What? But I... Or in your case, with you unprotected by the TARDIS, I gave you the virus. But then with the TARDIS stopping you from passing it on to anyone but me, you reinfected me. And while I've changed into you, you've started to change into... You... You mean... It's so perfect. That's why I love you, Charlotte Pollard. Because I am you now. I've been watching you so closely. I know everything I need to know about you. You don't know the truth. You can't know the truth. Who needs the whole truth? I can make up my own truth. Tell the doctor what he wants to hear. But what's going to happen to me? I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear that. You'll have to speak up. I said, what's going to happen to me? No. I can't hear you anymore. In fact, why am I standing here talking to myself? <laughs> I must be going mad. Has the force field been destroyed yet? Readings indicate force field integrity is near point of collapse. Dalek control to time squad leader. Increase your firepower. Firepower already at maximum. Look, Fratelin. As far as I can tell, this is probably the biggest stockpile of viruses in the entire universe. If the Daleks get hold of it, they're going to make life intolerable for every living creature in existence. Do you really want that? But how could you stop it, Doctor? Is this your stupid overconfidence again? The, the whole purpose of this station is... Is to... Is to what? Tell me! To prevent the kind of catastrophe you're talking about. To prevent the use of biological weapons forever! Well, these virus, they're coming to take the viruses away, aren't they? To destroy them. And you said something about an armistice treaty. There's been a war, hasn't there? There was a war, long ago. A biological war that nearly wiped out this whole galaxy. Well, who are the virus? What are they? Charlie? Charlie? But you... Get back! Humanoid female, remain where you are! Charlie, get back to the TARDIS as fast as you can! That Dalek is about to finish blasting out the force field protecting us in here! I'm not leaving you! It issued orders to kill you! The moment it's finished, it... Charlie, no! What are you doing?! Oh. Humanoid female will remove herself from my casing immediately! It will kill her! Oh. Oh. Charlie! No! Assist! Assist! Doctor, what's he doing to it? I can't see, there's too much smoke on it. Cannot, cannot. <sighs> oh, Charlie, Charlie, are you all right? Uh, yes, I think so. What oh. did you do to it? Just pushed it into that control panel thing. Who are you? I am Fratelin, the supervisor of this station. Pleased to meet you. I am Charlotte Pollard. You took a terrible risk, Charlotte. It could have killed you. I didn't think. I just knew I had to save you. But did you now? Well, I didn't chase around the universe to find a way of curing you just to see you take stupid risks. Stupid? What am I talking about? Suicidal risks. I'm sorry, Doctor. I really am. Well, good. Hmm. Anyway, how are you feeling? Much better, thank you. That containment area they had me in must have done the trick. Done the trick? The purpose of a containment area is, is simply... Is the Dalek dead? Yes. Yes, it is. It's completely shut down. Dead. You were very lucky. I think we all were, as it turns out. <laughs> hmm. And you've still got some explaining well, don't worry, to do, Doctor. young... I'll tell you everything now. What do you mean? Everything I haven't been telling you. 
You see, the... Doctor, that explosion, it shut down the whole security system. Well, that leaves the entire station open to Dalek attack. If they're in a time ship, they'll be able to materialize, well, anywhere they... What's that sound? Is it the Daleks? Yes. Come on, the only safe place is in the TARDIS. I cannot desert the control center. My duty is... Fratellin, surely your duty is to survive in order to carry out your duty. There's nothing you can do here except get yourself killed. Now, please, you've got to help us get back to the TARDIS in one of your shuttle trains. We can wait in there until your Virons turn up. Virons? Who are they? Who, indeed? Well, Fratellin. Very well. Good. Come on! Coordinates locked. Materialization now completing. Prepare to exterminate all aliens. The Doctor must not be harmed. We do not know his function in the timeline. He must be captured for interrogation. Prepare to disembark! So, how do these virons intend to destroy the viruses? Doctor, don't you want to know about me? Just a and... moment, Charlotte, that can wait. But I... Fratelin. Very well. I will tell you this. The virons were charged with the task of taking all captured viruses and destroying them in the heart of Amethustra. Amethustra? What's that? Amethyst's son. It was calculated that the unique destructive power of Amethustra was the only sure way of destroying the viruses completely. And who exactly are the Virons? That I will never tell you. We're arriving. Report! Station control center secured. Dalek Time Squad leader has been destroyed. Squad Unit 2 has located Unit 1. Unit 1 has also been destroyed. Cause of destruction? Both were destroyed by viral degeneration of cellular structure. The same cause of death as recorded at the time of Patient Zero's escape. There are only residual traces of Patient Zero. She cannot be located. Intensify the search immediately! Deploy search patrols throughout the station! I obey! Time transfer generators are now being positioned. Soon we will be able to begin our work. Then Dalek victory over the entire universe will be assured. Yes, the TARDIS is definitely this way. I remember this thing on the wall up here. Your craft should be three junctions from here. Doctor, I'm sorry I wasn't more honest with you earlier. More honest? You're either honest or you're not, Charlotte. Which is it to be? Honest. Very well. And not before ta- Shh! Daleks! But I thought- Shh, shh! Back, everyone. And keep very still. Device now in position. Activate. I wonder what they're up to. Shall we take a look? What is this device? They've attached it to the station's power conduits. Why? Definitely a piece of Dalek technology, so nothing good will come of it. Hmm. It looks like... Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, what doesn't matter? But of course it matters if you know something about this machine. Come on, out with it, Charlotte. Well, this is what I've been scared of telling you all along. You singulars are most strange. You really do have secrets from each other? How can that be, Doctor, when there is such a bond between you? When you were so upset that she might be dead? Doctor, you... Well, I, I thought... I, I thought... No, never mind what I thought. What is it you've been scared of telling me? And what's it got to do with this Dalek machine? Well... I've seen something very like it before. Where? On board a Dalek time machine. What? You've... Been on board. I was a prisoner of the Daleks, but I managed to escape. That's how I ended up on Earth in the future, where you found me. And I knew who you were, because the Daleks have records of you, and I managed to access those records. You managed to... How? I was trapped on one of their spaceships, 
After I'd escaped, I hid inside their communication system. I hacked into their main computer for a while. It's true. And this was before you managed to stow away in a Dalek time ship, was it? I thought I was going to die there. I'd given up. But then I saw my chance. All right. All right, we'll go into that later. Well, what do you think this device is? Something to do with time travel. I think it's some kind of generator. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're absolutely right. This is a Dalek time transfer generator. They use them to expand the time shift field of their ships. So, you believe me? Why did you keep this from me? Doctor! Because, well, I know you're the greatest enemy of the Daleks. I was wary of mentioning them to you. I thought, I don't know, I, I thought you might have thought I was working for them or something. Doctor! Well, you did claim to be working for them when we encountered that Thal Dalek Brotherhood. Oh, you're lucky they didn't recognize you. I think we were in the wrong time period for that. Isn't it more important to find out why the Daleks have put this machine here? Oh, I know why they put it here. And I'll lay odds they're placing other time transfer generators throughout Amethyst. Report! Alien vessel is approaching this planet at increasing speed. At current speed, it will arrive in orbit in 5H2 rails. What is the status of the time transfer generators? All generators have been attached to power conduits. Power network will reach optimum level in 500 rels. Has patient zero been located? Search patrols are moving through the station, but the area is too large. Only 2% of the station has been covered. What of the doctor? His TARDIS is now guarded. If he should attempt to return to it, he will be captured. So the Daleks want to take this entire station with them when they dematerialize their ship? Precisely. And use the viruses for their own ends. I cannot allow that. Oh, you cannot allow it. I cannot allow it. The virons will stop them. I admire your faith. Doctor, please listen to me. Doctor! But did anyone hear something just then? No. But I sense some of my familiars are not far from here. Doctor, there are Daleks ahead of you! Familiars? Fratellin is plural rather than singular, Charlotte. Doctor, they're watching the TARDIS! You'll be walking into a trap! Wait a minute. What? I... Well, for a moment, I thought I sense... Anyway, come on. The TARDIS is just up here, I believe. Yes, look, there she is. Halt! Oh, Doctor, look out! Do not move! Oh, get off me! You are our prisoners! How tediously predictable. And what are you going to do with us? Please feel free to surprise me. You are to be interrogated, Doctor! These other creatures will be exterminated! No! Charlie! Fratellin! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Them, I will not cooperate. I will force you to cooperate. Alert, alert, additional creatures detected. Supervisor. I see what you mean by plural. Quickly, my familiars, conjoin. We must become one. Destroy them, destroy them all. Exterminate. It's working. He's overpowered. Watch out, Doctor. Exterminate. No. You will kill no more of us. Fratelin, are you all right? They killed one of us, but we are still conjoined. Are those Daleks actually dead? <coughs> ah, apparently not. I feared as much. Short-term casing damage. They'll be self-repairing. It's not safe to be around them. We must get into the TARDIS. What does that mean? Is it the Daleks? No, not the Daleks. Alert! Alien spacecraft has accelerated! It is now docking with this station! All Daleks to defensive positions! Prepare to activate time shift generators! Optimum power levels have not yet been reached! We cannot time shift! All Daleks to defensive positions immediately! The Virons! Yes, Doctor. 
Is that a good or bad thing, Doctor? You're never going to be able to see me again, are you? Doctor? Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Hmm? Uh, sorry? Well, uh, that's a question for Fratellin. Fratellin? The Virons were summoned to be the ultimate authority in this galaxy. Summoned? No one knows how, but their powers are rumored to be limitless. Then the Daleks won't stand a chance against them. You, you don't understand. Their mission has been given priority over everything. If we're found guilty of standing in the way of the great work, the Virons will destroy us all. Memoirs of an Edwardian adventurous. <sighs> suppose this is what I deserve. I've cheated death and time for too long. Now what? No one knows I even exist. Perhaps it's best this way. Charlotte Pollard fading away into nothing. Replaced by someone who isn't really her. Someone who won't damage the web of time anymore. The Virons, I presume. Not that they'll be able to see me. Hello, how are you then? What? Did you... Did you hear me? You did! You, you can see me, can't you? Oh, uh, no. Um, keep back. No, keep back. No! in Station Control Center. I will investigate! Have power cells reached optimum? Final connections to the timonic drive of our ship have been made. Power levels now rising. Soon, dematerialization will be possible. What of the Doctor? Attempts to capture him have proved unsuccessful. I have sent more Daleks! But Fratellin, you must come with us into the TARDIS. It's the only safe place to be. No, Doctor, we must greet the Virons. It is our duty. And on the way, I will conjoin with as many of my familiars as possible. So you can smother more Daleks? If necessary, yes. It will enhance my resilience. That's a good thing, isn't it, Doctor? Charlotte, violence is never a good thing in itself. Goodbye, Doctor. That's it, then. We're going to leave in the TARDIS? No, we're going into the TARDIS because it's safe. <coughs> and it won't be long before these two Daleks are fully operational again. But I can't leave. Not with the Daleks plotting to steal all the viruses in this station. And I still haven't found out who this mysterious patient Zero is. But who's to say the Daleks coming through time and taking the viruses isn't part of established history? Part of the web of time? What? Are you seriously saying I should let the Daleks win? Well, you came here to cure me of that virus. And that's what's happened. You achieved your purpose. Does any of the other stuff have anything to do with you? 
Are you sure you're not working for the Daleks? Look, Fratellin and these Virons are clearly going to deal with the Daleks. Are they indeed? Doctor, I'm sorry, but you see, the reason I'm here, the reason I stowed away on a Dalek time machine and then sent out that signal, was because, well, I'd come to admire you. How precisely? From all that information I'd read about you in the Dalek data files, your defeat of their invasion of Earth, their time destructor plan on Kemble, the Daleks who tried to take over that colony on Vulcan, and the way they tricked you into creating the Dalek factor on Scaro. You really did do your homework, didn't you? You were my hope. The idea of you kept me going, made me believe I could finally escape them. I knew then that I wanted to be by your side for as near to forever as possible. I, I see. What were you doing to me? What? What are you doing? That looks like. Uh, is that sign language? I'm afraid I don't. I can't understand you. Can't you speak? Understand? Can't speak? Oh, that's me. You're using my voice. You can't speak. Can't speak. I see. This is going to be difficult. Language assimilated. You are infected with a variant of virus 7001. You must be contained. No, please let me go. Where are you taking me? Let me go. You're detecting the energy signature what? from the Dalek time transfer generators. I beg your pardon? Um, well, I've been watching you a lot since I've been in the TARDIS. Oh, really? Well, as a matter of fact, I am detecting the energy signatures of those Dalek generators. And by the way, don't think your admiration for me has obviated the central question. What central question? Oh, just a little matter, of course, but... Who are you, Charlotte Pollard? I've told you I was a prisoner. No, of... that's what you are. I understand that. And I may even believe you. But you still haven't told me where you're from or how you came to be a prisoner of the Daleks. Oh. Yes. Oh. Well? Well, that's the thing, you see. Oh, that's the thing, is it? Uh... Yes, well, you see... I really don't remember. That's what you've said all along. Very convenient. No. No, it isn't. It's like a nothingness where everything should be. I expect you can remember lots about your past, can't you? You must have lived a long time. I mean, I know you have, because of all those times you defeated the Daleks. You've had different faces, been different people. I know all that about you, Doctor. Can you remember all that? Yes, of course. Imagine what it would be like not to. The Daleks did something to me. I don't know what, I don't know why. But my memories start from when I was their prisoner. And the first contact I had with anything that wasn't a Dalek was when I found out about you. I know that must sound a bit strange. Sorry. <sighs> oh, the Daleks' generators have reached maximum energy levels. Which means they're about to dematerialize this whole station. The virus And probably even the Viron ship, which means we have to stop them. All right, but... 
can I ask you just one thing? Uh, make it quick. I've got quite a few rather complicated things to do here. Will you help me find out who I really am, Doctor? And you said one thing. Can I stay? All generators at maximum. We can now return to our own time. Engage power. Engaging timonic engines. Dematerialize. What is happening? Energy flow from generators is being disrupted by a competing time field. It is the Doctor. Oh, don't fuss! A few sparks and some smoke. Whatever you're doing, it feels like it's going to blow the TARDIS up. Nonsense! Just a bit of time jousting. I think the Daleks will finally can't dematerialize while the TARDIS is competing for the same space-time location in the vortex. Ha! <laughs> Impress? <laughs> I always have been, Doctor. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it's draining every drop of spare power the old girl can muster. How long can we hold out? I'm not entirely sure. It's just a question of who blinks first. Virons! Virons! We are Fratelin. It is our duty and honor to welcome you to Amethyst Viral Containment Station in accordance with the provisions of the Armistice Treaty. Virons! Virons! We are Fratelin. Language assimilated. Fratelin, our reading showed that there has been an intrusion. That is correct. A race called Daleks. They intend to steal the viruses. That will not happen. We will locate and stop them. Generators overloading! Increase power! If the engines burn out, we will not be able to complete our mission! The Doctor's TARDIS must be shut down immediately! Dalek Patrol now approaching TARDIS! Come on, old girl! You can do it! Doctor, look at the scanner! Daleks! Oh no! With this much of a power drain, the TARDIS's defenses are down! You mean... Charlie, get down! No! Doctor! The Daleks are getting in! They're getting into the TARDIS! Do not move! Shut down the power of your TARDIS! Well, well, which is it to be? Do I not move, or do I shut down the power? Make your mind up! Destroy the console! No! <laughs> Recalibrate time transfer generators and begin again! The Doctor and his human female associate have been captured. Exterminate the human! Readings indicate the human has had contact with Patient Zero. Keep her alive for interrogation! Patrols 9 and 6 are reporting in. Patrol 9 reporting. We have located advancing alien force. If they are connected with the viruses, they may be of use to us. Capture them. If they resist, destroy them. These are the creatures I told you about. These are the Daleks. Halt! Halt! Obey! Is your purpose to remove the viruses from this station? Silence! Do not question the Daleks! We have been summoned in accordance with the terms of the Great Armistice Treaty. None may interfere with our mission. Silence! You will obey Dalek commands! We have the ultimate authority. We have come to take the viruses. You will surrender them to us. We will take the viruses for our own purposes. You will assist us. You will disconnect your machinery from the power conduits of this base and leave. Obey or die! We are the Virons. We have our mission. We obey no one. We have the ultimate authority. Destroy them! Destroy them all! We, we obey! Obey! Ah! Oh, I cannot see! 
Again, which of you is in command then? Be careful, Doctor. I command. You will answer my questions. Fire away. Although I must say I'm surprised. I thought that other one sounded more intelligent. Let me guess. That'd be you, the Dalek time controller. Your attempt to stop us has failed. Well, we don't seem to be going anywhere. Seems very much as if I've succeeded to me. Our power vectors have been realigned. We are about to commence dematerialization. And precisely where and when will we be going? Silence! What is your purpose here? To defeat you. No change there. You did not expect the arrival of the Daleks. Why were you here, Doctor? Why should that concern you? My temporal strategy must take account of all random factors. Getting a little conscientious about time travel in our old age, aren't we? My experience of Daleks is that they blunder through time, causing chaos where and whenever they go. Non-strategic damage to the timelines has the potential to harm Dalek interests. I'm impressed. I really am. And who is this patient zero you're looking for? Your female associate has had contact with patient zero. Have you? I don't know what they're talking about. What do you mean? Our perceptors show residual traces of contact with her. Her? But I haven't met anyone since I've been here except you and Fratelin. Who exactly is this patient zero? She was part of a viral experiment to mutate all sentient life into Daleks. That's obscene. She escaped, but we have been tracking her through time and space. And you traced her here to this station full of viruses. But now we have these viruses. It does not matter. We will return to the future and begin our work again with infinitely improved resources. Now answer. What are you doing here, Doctor? None of your business. You will be exterminated! Doctor? Oh, it's all right. But have you had time to assess the significance of my random presence here? Hmm? Dare you risk killing me? Who knows what my real purpose here is? Silence or you die! Well, Dalek time controller. Keep them alive. We will take them back to our fleet in the future. There they will be fully interrogated. And then they can be used as the new subjects for our viral experiments. No. Don't worry, Charlie. While there's life, there's hope. For you, there is no hope. Take them into the ship. I obey. What is happening? Sounds like trouble, doesn't it? Doctor, look out! Quickly, Charlie! Take cover! Patrol 9 reporting. Aliens are resistant to firepower. Are you all right? Yes. Did you see that? Those must be the Virons. Remarkable creatures. That's one word for it. Those Daleks shot that one. It blew up, then just seemed to reassemble itself. You will not stand against our mission. Disconnect the Dalek machinery from Amethyst's power conduits. You must not disconnect the generators. Exterminate them! Exterminate! Fire! 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 Fratelin! Fratelin! Over here! Doctor, what happened? Thought you would be safe in your TARDIS. Unfortunately not. Doctor, get down! Ah! No! They've killed him! I don't think so. Fratelin? So many of my familiars dead. I know. I'm so sorry. Are you going to be all right? All right. I have lost so much of myself and they will never return. It is a terrible feeling. Doctor, Miss Bat! 
battle's a complete stalemate. As soon as the Virens reform themselves, the Daleks are blasting them to pieces again. Well, what kind of creatures are these Virens, Fratellin? I cannot tell you. Well, will they ever give up? Never. As I suspected. <sighs> well, what really worries me is the collateral damage. Too much damage to Amethyst and the virus containment fields could be broken, am I right? You are, regrettably, Doctor. And the viruses will escape into space. To cause untold damage in this galaxy. I've got an idea. Follow me! Destroy them! Destroy them! <sighs> what are we doing in here, Doctor? Isn't this the Dalek time ship? Yes, and luckily all the Daleks are outside trying to stop the Virens. You're going to do something clever, aren't you? I'm beginning to think I could get used to this admiration, Charlie. It's doing wonders for my confidence. But yes, as a matter of fact, I have a plan. Um, uh... What are you looking for, Doctor? Some kind of Dalek technology. Well, obviously. Well, what? Hmm? I might be able to help. What? Oh, yes. Um, central power controls? Oh, uh... Here! You really do know your Daleks, don't you? So now what? Yes, and... There. But you... Oh, no, Doctor. You... I can't believe you did that! What has he done? Alert Dalek time ship power levels approaching danger level! The Doctor! He has interfered! This is insane! You're just gonna kill us all! Maybe. Maybe not. I don't understand. You've done something foolish. Foolish? He's only gone and sent the Dalek power controls to overload. This ship and probably your whole station is about to explode. Have you got an escape plan? Well, the TARDIS may be ailing a little at the moment, but we could effectively shelter in her. And how are we gonna get there? This thing's about to blow any second. Your self-sacrifice is a noble gesture, but Doctor... The explosion won't destroy the viruses, it will just spread them. Only Amethustra is powerful enough. Possibly, possibly, but I think I'm gambling on a certainty. What certainty? Doctor, look out! That. That's the certainty I was gambling on. The explosion? It's just... Frozen? Frozen in time. Who's doing that? Shall we go outside and see? Come on. Regulate time vectors. Correct flow. Correct flow. I obey. Maintain temporal equilibrium on all generators. Rather preoccupied, aren't they? Oh, uh, Fratellin. Do you think you could convince your Viren friends not to disconnect the time generators? But what, what's going on, Doctor? We must carry out our mission. The alien machines must be disconnected. Those alien machines are the only thing keeping this place from blowing up. The Daleks are holding back the explosion. Yes. How did you know they'd do that? Well, come on now. Didn't you say you knew the Daleks of old? Well, I overloaded the power of their ship to the point of explosion. And the Daleks are sitting out there next to several highly advanced time transfer generators. What do you think they're likely to do? Anything to hold back localized time to stop the explosion. Yes. Isn't that right, Dalek Commander? You, you will be exterminated! Oh, I think you're only too well aware that it wouldn't be a good idea to let off a high energy weapon in such a delicately balanced time suspension field. Isn't that right? Dalek time controller. We, we will contain the explosion. We will reverse it and then we will destroy you. Well, I certainly admire you for trying. Virens, I suggest you get on with your removal of the viruses. The Daleks won't let their ship blow up. They'll hold that explosion at bay for eternity if necessary. Isn't that right, Mr. Time Controller? We will control and reverse. Control and reverse! Of course you will. If you can ever control a time suspension field without a dimensional stabilizer. Got one of those handy, have you? Hmm? 
Thought not. Oh, there they go. Fratalin, I suggest you maybe go with your Baron friends when they finally leave. Nothing left for you here when they've done their duties, is there? I... I suppose not. Doctor, I think you've done an incredible thing here today. No, you're too kind. Except isn't the TARDIS broken? Oh, the old girl will be in a regenerative cycle by now. Yes, in fact, I can feel it in my bones. It'll take a while, but she should be all right. Eventually. <laughs> my dear Miss Pollard, are you regarding me in an admiring fashion? Might be. Well, don't. It's making me feel queasy. And in answer to your earlier question, you can stay. Thank you, Doctor. You won't but regret it. But only if you soft pedal on the admiration. You like it, really? How is she? Yeah, nowhere near back to normal, I'm afraid. But we should be able to make enough of a short hop away from here to be safe. Safe? From the Daleks, you mean? Will they eventually lose their battle to stop the explosion? It's inevitable. Only their arrogance is blinding them to that. Know thine enemy, Charlie. You keep calling me Charlie now. I like that. Do I? Hadn't noticed. Where are you going? I just want to check how much longer the Daleks can hold off the explosion. Going to gloat? Don't you think that's a bit dangerous? They'll be far too occupied. As I said, know thine enemy, Charlie. One of the most important lessons I ever learnt. Continue. Continue. Regulate time vectors. Correct flow. Correct flow. Regulating. Hello. Maintain. Maintain. Maintain temporal equilibrium on all generators. I know you can hear me. No use pretending. You, you will die, die for this. Oh, really? Then stop what you're doing and risk firing your weapon. Other Daleks, other Daleks in the third station. Oh, no, don't rely on them. Fratelin can join with hundreds of his surviving familiars throughout the station. Your other Dalek patrols have just been put out of action for more than long enough. Hmm. Seems the TARDIS will have enough time to get away. Thank you. You know, I should be grateful that you never learn, shouldn't I? Grateful that ultimately it always boils down to one simple move that outwits you, ties you in knots, or destroys you. It's often a long time coming, and the suffering along the way sickens me. But sometimes, what really hurts about you, the Daleks, the supreme beings, is that you fly in the face of everything I hope for in the universe. Change, growth, learning, the ability of creatures to eventually transcend their own limitations, to become something better. And here you are, trapped in your rage to survive and exterminate. Believe me when I say it's truly pitiful. Goodbye. What? Yes? What would you, would you have us, us learn, Doctor? But there are other ways. Other strategies. Well, if you like. For example, what good could these viruses actually do you? We found a virus that, if developed... Would turn everyone into a Dalek. Yes, I know. And what would be the point of that? Oh, making everyone in your own image. I suppose I should have expected that of you. The ultimate delusion. Where did you find this virus, by the way? We... I've found many, many viruses drifting through time and space. When patient zero escaped, we traced as many of them as we could. That strategy led us here. Here? The Amethyst Viral Containment Station? We tracked patient zero back in time to this 
remote galaxy beyond all known civilizations. But she is not here. What does that mean, Doctor? Teach us something. Oh, well, the best laid plans... Wait a minute. If we're so far back in time, how come those viruses were present in your... Oh, no. Yes? No, no, it doesn't matter. Goodbye. What do you teach us, Doctor? You want the Daleks to learn? I am learning. I am learning. No, no, you're not. You're incapable of learning. The viruses we discovered were scattered through time and space. Scattered through time and space. Doctor, is everything all right? Get back to the TARDIS, Charlie. Oh, Charlie again. Becoming quite a habit. No time for that nonsense. Just do as I say now. Fratelin. Fratelin, come in, please. Fratelin. You have taught me something, Doctor. I see. I see what you have taught me. Doctor, hello. What can I do for you? Get to the control center immediately. I need you now. Doctor, what's going on? What have you done? The Doctor has taught us what our true victory is. This will be the ultimate victory of the Daleks. No! Charlie, I told you to go. I won't leave you. I'll never leave you. Stop that. I can help you. No, I can. Not this time. The viruses were scattered through time and space. That is the effect. What is the cause? Can you teach us that, Doctor? No, I can't. Or you won't. I have learned. Doctor, what can I do to help? Show me how to overload the power of the station. I need to send a devastating power spike through the Dalek time generators. Why? Why? I can hear your words. This is the moment. This is the victory. This is the cause. This is the explosion that caused the dissemination of viruses throughout time and space. The viruses we found and developed. This is your purpose in the timeline, Doctor. You assist the Daleks in their greatest victory of all time. That's why we have to create an explosion so powerful that it will completely destroy everything here. You understand me? All Daleks, cease work on the time generators. Allow the explosion to continue. Why? It will destroy us. We cannot let it destroy us. But, Doctor, are you sure? It will kill all of us. Perhaps... Even the virus. Better that than these viruses should spread throughout time and space for the Daleks to exploit. Our destruction will assure the dissemination of the viruses. Viruses the Daleks will develop to wipe out all resistance. Doctor, there must be Didn't another... did I tell you to get back into the TARDIS? Go back, shut the doors, you'll be safe. Safe, alone and trapped? What's the point of that? For heaven's sake, don't argue with me, girl. Ch Charlie, please. No. I won't leave you. Oh. Never. Help me with the controls, Doctor. I'm putting the power levels at maximum, but I need your oh, help. Of course, of course. Here, let me. Oh. What did you do that for? You may be willing to sacrifice yourself, but not me. And I won't let him do it either. I fought too long and hard to be at his side to see him blow himself up at the first opportunity. Will you summon a couple of your familiars to help me carry the Doctor? Come on, Doctor. Well, Fratlin. Very well, Charlie. I will have them meet you at the shuttle train. Good luck to you, Fratlin. All Daleks disengage from time generators. We will allow the explosion to continue. We will take our place in Dalek history. This is our victory. Not if I can help it. Doctor. Doctor, please, wake up! Doctor! Uh, 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 Charlie? Oh, thank goodness you're uh, all right. I oh, thought when that piece of debris hit you... Piece of debris? Well, How? I was worried that Fratlin wouldn't be able to... Yeah, to set off the explosion himself. No, he needed my help. He said he'd be all right. He told me to get back to the TARDIS, that he'd set off the explosion himself. But... Oh, Doctor, never mind all that just now. You have to get the TARDIS moving. Get it moving? Yes, the Daleks were about to release the explosion and Fratelin was overloading the... Ah! 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 Oh! 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 Oh
It's a... It's a temple explosion! No! Fratulin failed! Oh, oh, we'll be safe in here! Not for long! Help me with the controls! There! There! And there! Got them! Yes! Keep pressing and... Is that it? Are we going to make it? We're caught in the temporal shockwave! And it may yet destroy us! I remember chasing up the doctor one morning over his expenses. He was always ordering pieces of expensive equipment and then complaining they were antiquated. Uh, but he'd still present me with the bill. This was your doctor, the tall one, the white-haired one. Mm, unit's scientific advisor. Uh, if only I'd known what I was taking on. <laughs> he was usually around the laboratory, but that morning the place was deserted. Joe had moved to Wales to become Mrs. Jones, and the doctor hadn't been in the best of moods ever since. His TARDIS stood in the corner, but I could hear a voice from inside. Stella Freight for 621 Gamma Delta. Assistance is required. So I pushed the door and went in. We're trapped in sector 228. Assistance level 1 stop. The doctor was hunched over the controls with his back to me. And then. The doors hung shut. Doctor! I said, brandishing his expense file. But the TARDIS shuddered and made that dreadful racket like an elephant in labor. Turn that off, Doctor! I want an explanation, I complained. And your receipts. But the doctor seemed more amused than startled by my arrival. Brigadier, he said, is this your first trip with the TARDIS? Oh, not again, I thought. I had been in the TARDIS before, but that was with your Dr. Polly, trapped in a black hole. This time, we were off to rescue a beleaguered space freighter in, well, something like the Deuteronomy Quadrant. Hang on. Do you mean the Doctor could actually make the TARDIS go where he wanted it? Crumbs, things have changed. I've linked onto the freighter's signal as a homing beam, he said. In my limited experience, spaceships never have the silver futuristic appearance you expect. Once we'd landed, he switched on the scanner, but all we saw was a sign saying water. Well, water's the cargo, obviously, he declared. And since we were right on the source of the signal, he said, he checked the air and gravity and opened the doors. And needless to say, it wasn't a spaceship at all. The water was half a British railway sign saying, 
Waterloo. I remember British Rail? <laughs> we were standing on Platform 3 at Waterloo Station with dozens of commuters climbing on a train. Outer space, I said with a degree of satisfaction. No, 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 not right at all, insisted the doctor. He fished some gadget from his pocket and started taking readings. Well, I said, assuming this is the right year, we can always go home. But there was a stench, as if we were standing next to an open thunderbox. The commuters were an odd bunch, too. Amongst the ordinary people, there were bowler-hatted city gents in pinstripes, chaps in boaters and blazers, and girls like 60s dolly birds in identical outfits, big black and white squares with matching beetle caps. Even to me, they looked out of date. There were people in Victorian costume, too, like fancy dress. Probably in this season, mumbled the doctor, deep in his readings, oblivious that his tartan cape and blue velvet jacket fitted perfectly with them. I'm calling the unit HQ, I said. Someone can come and collect us. There was a red phone box along the platform, but inside... The receiver wouldn't lift off the actual phone, and the slots for coins were painted onto the machine. It was the model of a phone box, not real at all, and there was a film of mould on it, hard to get off your fingers. The doctor didn't seem at all surprised. Look at the people, Brigadier. So I watched the people on the platform. Some were climbing onto the train and others were getting off. And after a minute or so, the people who just climbed on climbed off again and stood exactly where they'd been before. And then they did it all again, going in circles, but all individually, in their own time. It wasn't the real Waterloo at all. It may not even be the Earth, suggested the doctor. Excuse me, I called to a porter trundling past with a trolley. Where can I find the station master? Or someone else in charge. Next train to World's End, sir, he said without stopping. Best to wait for announcements and watch the departure board. And he vanished into the milling crowd. This way, Brigadier. The doctor headed along the platform past the startled ticket collector and out across the concourse. The same crowd was there, too. City gents and sixties dolly birds. Victorian families, twenties flappers, chaps in blazers. And now we can see the other platforms. The trains, ranged from old-fashioned steam engines and a rackety old slam-door diesel engine to a modern 125 Express and a high-speed Japanese bullet train. But it's more like a museum. More like someone's idea of Waterloo, said the doctor. And then he stopped and stared. Good heavens, there's somebody I know. He pushed through the crowd towards a tall lady wearing a long Edwardian dress and an elegant, wide-brimmed hat. Polly, he said, what are you doing here? What, me? Uh, sorry to throw this bit at you out of the blue, Polly. Uh, disconcerting, to say the least. You're dead right it is. The lady stared at us in total surprise. I'm sorry, sir. I think you're mistaking me for someone else. You're not, Polly said the doctor, looking equally surprised. I'm so sorry, my dear, but <laughs> you're the spitting image of a friend of mine. Polly, sir, my name is Alice Warner. I don't suppose you know what time the train from Edinburgh arrives, do you? Edinburgh? the doctor exclaimed. Yes, I'm meeting my fiancé off the Edinburgh train, but it seems to have been delayed. I do hope you won't be too long. I was ready to point out that trains from Edinburgh are coming to King's Cross, not Waterloo, but thought better of it. By which time, Alice went back to her original position of just standing and staring into space. Is she real? I muttered, because everything here seemed slightly grimy and faded. Not just objects and people's clothes, but their faces, too. I don't know, the doctor said. And then I noticed the puddle of dirty water seeping up between the flagstones round our feet. It was right across the concourse, but no one else seemed to notice. They were too busy with their routines. 
The train now standing at platform 5. The old-fashioned wooden departure boards clattered round to display the words, Please help me. Please help me. Who's in charge here? shouted the doctor, and everyone on the concourse turned to stare. With a whoosh, a wave of stagnant brown-green water swilled up between flagstones. It wasn't just water. It writhed and squirmed as a tide of eels flowed across the concourse between the passengers. Thousands of them, wriggling and flickering like the catch emptied from a fisherman's net. I pulled the doctor up onto the counter of the newspaper stand. We balanced unsteadily as the repulsive flood of eels surged round us. Most people didn't react, but I saw Alice Warner, oh. eels wriggling over her, carried by the surge until she washed up against a stack of luggage. And then the eels vanished again, squirming back down between the flagstones. The doctor splashed through the puddles to help Alice, and I saw him furtively taking her pulse as he lifted her up. She seemed to be fine. Hardly bothered at all. In fact, all she said as she straightened out her soaking skirts was... I don't suppose you know what time the train from Edinburgh arrives, do you? Well, she's not a plastic facsimile, thank goodness, the doctor muttered. But she doesn't seem to be alive either. I looked round the concourse, which was bustling again as if nothing had happened at all. We were close to the station entrance. I could see people and traffic outside. Come on, I said, and we set off through the arch, onto the steps in the sunshine, where we stopped and stared. This was all wrong, even more wrong than inside the station. This was London, but it was fractured, crushed in on itself. It made no sense. A crowd lined the road, with all the usual suspects amongst them, all waving flags, too. Very patriotic. But it wasn't the right road. Not for Waterloo. This was the embankment, looking out over the Thames. A sudden blast of music hit us, and along the road marched a regimental band, the Coldstream Guards in red tunics and bearskins. They were the wrong size. They were too tall, giant soldiers out of scale with their surroundings. But everyone still cheered. The doctor stood deep in thought. Across the road, the river was hard, grey-green, as if, as if it had crusted over. On the far bank stood the Houses of Parliament with the Union flag flying. And further along, Impossibly. There was the Eiffel Tower, transplanted squarely on the London skyline. The doctor pointed along the river. Now do you believe we're another world? And there, out in the bay, towering over everything, stood the Statue of Liberty. And I knew this place had gone completely mad.